Right then, hello and welcome back to Grimsby to Glory. Uh, in this episode, I don't know why I'm here, it should be here, on a calendar. We've got a stacked, and I mean stacked, September. So, something going forward, I was thinking, how would you feel if I simmed a few games? Not many, it would be one an episode. We'd say play three, sim one an episode, and, and we'd do it that way. Just to get forward a bit more, because otherwise we're going to be 100 episodes before we reach December. So, again, there will be a poll in the description, like in episode three. Not at the top, because I couldn't work out how to see it. I've absolutely messed that one up. So it will be in the description. Say I was doing it, I'd sim this Oldham game. Oldham and no one will get through, because obviously we want to play Salford. Do you know what I mean? So, it would be games like that. Let's have a look in here. We simmed Cheltenham in that in that one. Who, who cares about Cheltenham? Do you know what I mean? So let me know what you think. And um, yeah, please vote. As, as in the last one, I am really asking for help. So yeah, if you could vote in that, that would be great. Anyway, enough of that. Into the leasing.com trophy. Round one, Wickham Wanderers away. Let's do this. So for Wickham then, here's our team news. They got Battersby in the goal. I think why not give him a game? The young lad's 18. It's the Leasing.com trophy. Why not? Hendry right back, Waterfall centre back with Pollock, who's got a captain's armband for probably the first, well, no, for the first time. Probably not the last time. Glennon left. There's Nala Benson. Tilly's getting a go. Oliveira's getting a start. Burns and Vernon on the wings. I've gone pretty strong because a lot of the other lads are um, tired. Uh, I would just like to point out Wickham's kit is lovely but I'm still gonna beat them let's go all right then first game in this cup let's hope to start with a win I'm looking at area final for this definitely I hope Um, I want to see if we can get a few goals as well we're not scoring many and I want to score some more and stop conceding that Walsall game though was exciting to watch I hope I've said get into it about three times now but we're gonna do it this time Here's the kickoff, Oliveira. Straight away, new chips up a man. Love that. No. What's going on? Oliveira's through, finally. Yes, finishes that. I, I even said that before he'd scored, just in case anyone worries that it's out of sync. I said that before he scored because I knew he would. That was a dodgy celebration as well. But we've gone 1-0 up and Oliveira scores once again. Seems to be finishing a lot better than his 60 overall says. Lovely goal. 1-0, let's keep going. Go on, Tilly. Turn him. Oh, dive in. That's a great tackle. Oliveira's got that. Tilly's going to help out. Oh, Tilly's through now. He's a bit late. Oliveira, is he offside? He is. It's a great finish, though. Oh, whoa, well, oh, I've not said anything, but that's some lovely football. We're going to cut that back to Tilly. Touch, strike. Oh, and he scored as well. That's 2 0 after 20 minutes. Go on, the boys. Another dodgy celebration from the lads. These youngsters, Tilly as well, he's had a good few games when I've played him. He looks better than, than his 58 overall says. 2 0 down after 24 minutes for Walsall is not great at all. But, you know, it's good for us. I said Walsall, I meant we can. Again, we've done it again. Tilly's through. Oh, can he get a second? Literally 10 minutes later. Oh, how's he missed? How do you stick that so far wide? And that'll be half time. But, good strong half from us. And 2-0, I'm very pleased with it. Let's go again. What did he get there? Oh, wait, wait, there's loads of space here. Where's the left back? I won't know. Burns. Pulls it back. There's a finish from Tilly. Oh, what a block that is. This time we'll give it to Benson. We'll give it to Oliveira. We'll have a strike. How's he missed the football? How's that happen then? I'm going to take... No, not Tilly. I'm going to take Benson off there. And I'm going to bring Clifton on. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take Vern, Burns, or Vern. We'll take Burns off and bring Rose on. See if these two lads can um, get us anywhere further forward. Inject a bit of life into this because the second half's been pretty dead. Here's Clifton now, already bursting through with a bit of defence. He's got a bit of pace about him, and I like it. Oh, he's lifted it. Oh, Peter was absolutely clattered Oliveira there. They left him on the deck. I didn't even see that. He better not be injured. I'll be fuming. Henson Harler driving. Haven't seen that much of him today. To Clifton. He's got a touch, have a shot. Oh, it's gone top corner. Oh, yes. Harry Clifton. I wanted a bit of life from the substitutions, and I got it. Well done, Rose. Good interception. The tie's pretty much gone for them now. I mean, it's 3 0. I don't know if they're playing a the second team. They might be. I, I don't know personally, but. 
When Rose is curling them in like that and it's 4-0 before 80 minutes, there is actually no stopping it. He's beating the man with a great skill there. You're not seeing it on the replay, but... And then to curl one in from here, the cheek to do that at 20 years old. I'm loving it. Loving it. Look at this finish. Oh, keeper's getting nowhere near it. Lovely. Only downside is Oliveira still looks to be injured. Battersby has literally had nothing to do except pass the ball a couple of times when I've asked him to, and there he goes and gives it away, that one. And he makes a save. or we'll keep it in just for him. And that's the end of the game. Very happy with that 4-0 win. Puts us into the next round of the Leeson.com trophy. I got much to say. Good performance from Rose. Great performance from Clifton who came on. Who else was good? Tilly, Oliveira, Battersby with a save at the end. Unreal from the youngsters. Love that. Let's go into the next game. A few of them might have worked their way into the team, I think. Right then, the only downside of that lovely 4-0 Wickham win is that we do have an injury to Esteban Oliveira. It's only five days, but it does knock him out of this weekend's league game with where he was going to start, I'd already decided. So, we'll go with another striker. That's all we've got to say. Let's get there and uh, see what team I'm going to play. So, our next matchup then is Crew. Uh, the only changes I've made, back line, same as normal, except I've got Garmstam. I've given Clifton and Rose a start after their impressive performances against Wickham. Now, I will say, I'm not convinced about Grandin, and um, this is probably his trail, is his last chance. If he doesn't perform well today, I'm going to look for someone else, and uh, we'll see. I've got a good bit of money in the bank, you know, so we'll see what we can do. But, let's get into crew first. Right then, time for the crew matchup. Not really expecting too much. Hopefully we get another good game from Rose, and uh, hopefully we get another good game from Clifton, the two lads that I'm hoping push on. I, I'm I'm warming to them, so we'll see what we can get. And uh, really, we need a win, so let's see what we've got. Hendry's got to get there. He hasn't. They've now got a free run. Hessen Hull is going to have to follow Walker. Burns going to get back there. Hendry and Kirk's through. Waterfall, can he stop the ball in? No. Strike. Great save, McEwen. Waterfall then stepped out of position to Green and has lost it. Pollock is also now out of position to go over to Walker. He's got passed. There's a goal. Of course there is. I was lost for words for that flick up, which is why I couldn't even say anything about it. I can't believe that's happened. And we're one down after 20 something minutes. Rose then. Good few touches. Whips one. All the way to Grund. It doesn't go, but Burns will happily tap that one in. It was a good ball from Rose. It's poor from Grandin not to make the first attempt stick but luckily it goes through the defender's legs happily lands at the feet of Wes Burns and we're back on level terms not too long after they conceded oh that we conceded half time then Pollock luck makes a good tackle there but gives that ball away that's so unfortunate we are lucky that's been put wide that will be half time I know the whistle didn't blow there but that is now half time I will take 1-1, one, one. not too shabby realistically. Start the second half then, really. All we've got to do is cut out the defensive mistakes, the defensive complacency, really, when we're playing the ball around. And uh, they won't get their chances, and hopefully we can take one of ours. Well, in Burns. Hessen Harlow then. Grandin in acres of space, Rose is over one. Back to Clark. Bit wide, but he'll finish it, will he? No, what a miss that is. Rose's pass was a little heavy, but Billy Clark has absolutely shanked one wide there. Garson gets up well, and the ball's fallen to Rose. Fancy feet, gives it to Hessenhalo, gives it to Grandin. Now what's he going to do? Back, over, not there. Why is that? Might leave that in purely just to prove my point, that he's not good enough for this club. Clifton there, a bit lax, a bit slack. Waterfall then not making a tackle. McKeown's come out and they've passed it across and we're 2-1 down. I'd love to blame Grundin because he's my scapegoat, but that was Clifton's fault, unfortunately. Rose has been our brightest spark so far. And here he's beaten three men straight away. What's he going to have a go? Ah, oh, it's wide. Great run from him. Unfortunate finish, I think. Making a couple of subs. Burns and Grandin off. Green and Vernon on. Grandin, I was just sick of him. He can't make a pass. He can't run. I'm thinking new cam in January. Might give us an injection. I know we're only seven. This is our seventh game, but 
he's just annoyed me in the seven games I've played and it's time I get rid of him. And Green's in behind because no one's tracked the run so Pollock's had to come out. Can we get this ball away? Oh and it's 3-1, what a diving header. Hendry's on his heels and not managing to get it. And Jones just finishes it off, 3-1 and it looks like the game's over for us. Rose has been our star, he's had a good game. It's unfortunate that the rest of them couldn't really follow suit. And that's the end of it, 3-1, game over. It's a poor loss from the boys, but we'll have to see if we can improve on it in our next game. Let's just go straight away from this, anyway. As I said at the start then, yeah, with the, with the games being fourth and four games an episode is what I would like. Maybe I could do three playing and, you know, one sim, because look, we've got Oldham now and then we've got Salford, which is a big game, really. Someone who we'll probably be challenged with for playoffs or going up and we're going to be tired so I was thinking if you vote in the poll which I would really much appreciate that we um, sim a game an episode obviously I'm not going to do that till we get the votes back if you say we don't then we won't so please vote in the poll we'll see how that goes and um, basically let's just get into this olden game due to having obviously that sort of game as you just saw in, in what I don't know two days I've gone with a little bit of a different start in 11 still got Burns and Vernon up top with Clark I've got Matilli in behind, I'm not convinced by Grondin at all. I will be looking for a new cam come January. Then I've gone with Hewitt and Hesenhala, Garmstrom, yeah, you can see it all there. But um, I'm saving Rose and I'm saving Oliveira for the sort of game really. So let's hopefully we can beat Oldham now. Right then, straight into the Oldham game. Decent old team, you know, Oldham. I think they've only just been relegated down to League 2. My knowledge could be way off and you should really tell me if it isn't if I am not correct but yeah I think they've only just been relegated down so hopefully this will be a good test for us and after that loss against crew I would hope to win it you know so uh really let's um let's get into this one and try and redeem ourselves Oldham are looking like a fast paced team and throwing many men up in attack McKeown sees that one go over no problem great balls Garmstrom is he still on side he is he is he's got to get the right option now Hessen Holler is that option with a great finish off the post. I thought that was just about to go wide. But nine minutes in and we are 1-0 up. Ah, that's a great finish. Just past the defender. In off the post. All right, bit of semblance of calm now with Hewitt who's lost it. That's a great interception. Dearly can Waterfall get there. What a last ditch tackle that is. Oldham fans going riot for a penalty. But that is a brilliant tackle. Burns, great turn. Oh, good defending tackle. Garmstrom's going to win that. He'll give it to Clark. He's going to have a shot. Oh, another goal in off the post. Billy Clark with a fantastic finish there. That's a lovely finish, and that puts us 2 0 up. And I'll just give credit to Waterfall for that interception. It was very well needed. Tilly then with a great interception. Plays to Clark, who's got Vernon going through. He's one on one now with the keeper. Oh, he slots it lovely past him. And we are 3-0 up before half hour. This is an absolute riot show. And it's all on the counter-attack as well, away from home. Doesn't look like there's much way back for them, but I'm definitely taking the win. If we want to challenge any sort of promotions, we're going to need to go up the table with big wins like this. Plays it off to Hewitt. Gives it back to Tilly, who takes one touch and has a strike. Oh, that's way over the top. Tilly with a great tackle on the edge of the area to stop the counter. We've had time to get our defence back. Or so I thought. Hendry then. Can he get over to him? He can. And we'll collect that for half time. 3 0 at half time is a good result. They haven't threatened since early on. And um, doesn't look like they're going to threaten much more either. As we see, Hewitt, I've given him. And I'm going to give him about 10 minutes. See if he can run off the injury he's got. Doesn't look like it though, does it? It's good work right from him to win that back. Plays Hewitt. Still injured Hewitt. We plays Essenhaler. Takes a strike. Straight at the keeper. We had a break in play around 15 minutes. I'm going to take him off now and I'm going to bring. I'm going to bring Clifton on. He didn't have a great game against Crew, but we'll give him another chance here. Hendry pulls back McCann. He's lost him like they've lost Madeline. And Tilly's got a strike. It's unfortunate. Oh, poor throw from McEwen. Can Pollock get there? No, but McCoy makes a stunning, stunning stop. And we just play our way out. But that was an unbelievable bit of keeping. 
Tilly's in the middle, he's got a bit of space. Sees Clark, who sees Tilly's gone back for it. And Tilly's going to strike. Good save from the keeper. 3 0. All the goals in the first half. Don't even know if I'll show much of the second half. Well, I might show this. Coming into added time. Here they come. Oh, the ref's blown that at the wrong time, if you ask me. But that's a good win for us after the embarrassing defeat against Crew. I'm happy with the 3 0 win. Well done from the boys. On to Salford. Yeah, after that Oldham game, then let's just have a look at um, he was injuries. Oh, sprained ankle for three weeks. That's not great. But, you know, gives Benton more of a chance, gives Tilly more of a chance, that sort of thing. We'll use it to our advantage. Now then, Salford, who we can see, look, just there, are level on points with us. One, one place behind, we've got one goal up on them. So, this is a big game for us. Hopefully, of course, we can win it, and hopefully it's a good game to watch. So, let's have a look at the team then. Right then, Oliveira is back up top, which is great. Uh, hopefully he'll get, get himself a goal. We're away at Salford, so it's going to be important to uh, take our chances. Rose is on the left as well. Got Benson in the middle. It's a strong team. One of the strongest teams I think I could put out. I put uh, Davis in instead of Waterfall, but this is a big one. Let's go. Right then, here we are at Salford. Uh, a team that a lot of YouTubers, of course, have done RTGs on. And when the FIFA first came out, I did do a career with Salford, but that was before I started YouTube. But here we are now. They're a tough team, of course. They're doing well in the league in real life, and I would really hope to beat them. So, I not much else I could say. I just they're, they're, and in this league, they're right behind us, and I really do want to beat them. This is a good, good standing point as for who we are and how good we are as a club. So let's get into this and well, win. I hope. Benson already wins the ball back a minute into the game. Clark just about keeps hold of it as Oliveira was absolutely taken out there. He gets back up. He takes strike, which the keeper saves, but he was bundled to the ground early on. Glennon into Rose. Into Hessenhaler. Up to Oliveira. No, not quite. Defender gets there again. Nothing for keepers to do. This is boring after 25 minutes. Elliot then. Hessenhaler gets in. Makes him turn around. Thomas Asante comes through. Takes a shot, but it's well wide. He turns back. Sees Clark a bit, bit a bit of space. He plays it straight at the defender. Doesn't win that ball, but Hessenhaler does. Oliveira to Clark. Takes a touch. Can he finish? Oh, straight to the keeper. Hessenhaler. Oh, we've panicked. We've panicked. And it's cleared. They've got a man over here if they can get it to him, which they can. Can Davis get there? He does. Great tackle. And that'll be half time. Benson wins that, but somehow loses that then again. That's FIFA for you. Hunter in behind there, Davis to contest with. Glennon with a great tackle, what are you saying? He got the ball. No way, no way, a red card as well. Well, I asked for a bit more excitement, but I didn't think I'd be getting it in the form of this. I mean, yes, he takes the man, but he does get the ball. I don't think that one, you can blame Glennon for that, or two, that that's a penalty or a red card. But here it is with Salford with the chance then to go into the lead. Can McGowan step up and save it? Oh, in off the post. It's unfortunate for us. Now we're 1-0 down and 10 men down. This is going to be a struggle. Andre D, or whatever you say, has got free to Hunter. Played it through. McKeown with a good stop. Benson with the ball out. But it's gone to Clark. You know what? We're going to counter. Oliveira. Now we're in. Just from a clear out, clearance from Benson. Clark. Strike. And he's finished it. Unbelievable scenes. Ten men have pulled the goal back. What I've done then is I have sacrificed our goal scorer, Billy Clark, for Garmstrom, who's going to obviously go into left back. And I've taken Vernon off, who's a bit tired, and brought right on. It's 1-1. There's 20 minutes left, and you never know. We could grab a winner here. Pollock with a good ball out to Garmstrom. who sees Rose going. Now it's 2-1-2. Two two. What can Rose decide to do? Pulls back, sees Benson. Benson with a strike, surely. Off the defender. He's sold his man. And he's got in towards the end. This is literally it. There's nothing left of time. Oh, and he's just been tackled right at the end. This could end up in a 1-1 then. 1-1 it finishes then. With 10 men away at Salford, I'll take the result. Obviously, before the game, I would have wanted a win. But I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. 
Not much we can do about that. Right then, after that draw, and you can see there in the highlights, Glenn has picked up a red card. We've also got a scouting update. So that's what we're going to start with in episode 5. We'll start with the scouting update and we'll start with the training. You can see there just next to it, we are 10th. We'll hope to move up. We're only 9 games in, so it's not too bad. Um, if you've enjoyed this one, lads, please give it a like. Uh, vote in the poll as to whether or not I should sim it, uh, the odd game. And um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.